in any weight class. Also not lacking for confidence, Glenn Donaire, a hard body puncher, who calls Darchinian a lucky puncher. He feels that uh, all he can do is bang with his left, to which Darchinian says, okay, how about I knock you out with my right? <laughs> Donaire feels that Darchinian struggled to make weight. Therefore, a steady body attack, he feels, will weaken the champion, giving him the chance for the upset. And that is just conjecture on Glenn Donaire's part. I think fueled by the fact that Darchinian talks about how he could go up a couple of weight divisions to fight, so there's the perception that he would like to be at a higher weight. You see that awkward, unorthodox approach by Vic Darchinian, what in the world would you call that, Al? It's a, it's a very unique style, it really is. One that, you know, I'm sure trainers wouldn't suggest to young fighters to to uh, pick up, but it works for him. Donaire admits Darchinian's dangerous, but given that he asked to fight Darchinian, that would make him crazy, he says. Yet, as he put it, the chance of a lifetime. These early rounds, very important for Donaire because, as I mentioned, a great step up in competition for him. Um, and these early rounds, he's got to get his sea legs under him and not get hit with something dramatic. Donaire feels one of the keys is to try to take this as deep as possible as he just got tagged with a straight left. A Donaire, and a good body punch by Glenn Donaire. He's a superb body puncher, and he throws every one of those with... Uh, with really very, very well. With evil intentions, he, with conviction. There's a straight left hand to the neck area by Darchini, and those punches are savage. And Darchini is just going to town early. Donaire needs to stay busy, outwork Darchini, stay cool. But he's got to use angles, Al, and, you know, he just can't stand right in front of him. And part of the problem for Donaire is he can't be in that mid-range. He just got it with a good straight left hand by Darchini. He's either got to be very, very close to him or giving him angles, as you mentioned. Darchini is starting a little faster than we're used to seeing him start, Steve. Yeah, he usually uh, sizes up his opponent early on and then goes in for the finish, but he is getting right to it here in the first round. Both are very hittable. Darchinian never down, never hurt in 26 pro, 170 amateur fights. He won 152 of those, 105 knockouts, representing Armenia at the 2000 Olympics. He can take a punch, Darchinian. He's got a granite chin. He is a one-dimensional fighter, but it's a great one dimension. But you wonder eventually if that will catch up to him down the road. Final seconds of round one. Oh, a hard straight left. Another left hand by Darchinian, who marches right in on Donaire. Another left hand just before the bell. And a big finish to the opening round by Darchinian. Darchinian had a very good first round, but the one thing Glenn Donaire would like to accomplish is to be able to whack the body. And you see Darchinian not really defending that very well, and right in that area is where the right hand would get in. Fantastic body shot that literally you can see made an impact on Darchinian. Now, not enough of that for Glenn Donaire to win this round. Later on in the, uh, in the round, Darchinian landing those good left hands. He's so consistent with that punch. He just keeps throwing it until he lands it, and I'll tell you, they are very powerful. Round two scheduled for 12 for the IBF Flyweight Championship. Darchinian in the black with the red trim, a diminutive fighter who poses a gargantuan challenge for anyone with his stalking, relentless, bullying style, his thunderous power. You know, you wouldn't think you could use the word gargantuan with a flyweight, exactly. but I, can I tell you that's appropriate in this case. I always bring the trusty thesaurus with me as Donaire and Darchinian trade in the center of the ring. It's a good left hand to the head by Donaire. This is Glenn Donaire. He wants to do this, but the problem is you face off against the cannon, and he's getting nailed with big straight lefts. Thunderous shots by Darchinian. Donaire eating a lot of leather here.
tactical move by Donair to see if he could move Darchinian back. Donair again trying to go to the body. That time Darchinian able to cover up. Donair on his toes. Darchinian more flat footed. Now things settle down for the moment, but it could be the calm before the storm. Approaching midway round two. Marchinian flicking the jab, but holds it at that. It was not there to set anything up. And you know, a, a, a point here is that Tony Weeks hasn't had to break these fighters. And all right. Has not had to break these fighters at all. That means Donaire is not getting on the inside where he wants to be. The straight left, right hook combination. You don't see many those kinds of combinations from Darchini. And usually to him, a combination is a left, followed by a left, and then another left. Exactly. It was... That one was blocked by Donaire's glove, and it looked good to the crowd. Another one deflected off Donaire's glove. But those punches have some impact, too, because the glove goes back into your own face. And he's making Donaire miss wildly with the right. Left uppercut, missed the second one, got him. Darchenian blasting away with the uppercut. He had some concern for Donaire's uppercut, but we haven't really seen it yet. Now Donaire too far away from Darcheni in the land. A straight left hand. He has tasted a lot of leather so far from Darcheni, and he is keeping his distance, understandably, for the time being. Glenn Donaire has not figured out what punch works against Darcheni or punches, and therefore he's just not been able to get anything in. Yeah, Donaire right now is puzzled. Ha! Having difficulty solving the Darcheni puzzle. Glenn Donaire came out in this round determined to see if he could push Darchinian back and land something meaningful. And he engaged in this firefight. But as you see, most of the good work done by Darchinian. A left hand gets in by Donaire, but then Darchinian found a range with the straight left. And that was when he drove Donaire back. And for the most part, for the rest of that round, Glenn Donaire wasn't willing to engage like this. And again, was in that no man's land. Now, the footwork is important in this, uh, in this match. Glenn Donaire wants to get his foot out there, outside Darchinian's right foot. However, for the most part, it's been in that posture with the foot on the inside, and that's why that straight left hand landed from Darchinian. Donaire is trying to pull a Rocky Balboa. But he's got a long way to go here because it's been all Vic Darchinian. We had a round three. Even though Darchinian dominated in his last fight, the win over previously undefeated Luis Maldonado, oftentimes he threw wide looping punches. Yeah. He has really straightened it out here. Steve, he? you are so correct about that. It's a great observation because uh, when he throws these straight punches, he's more powerful uh, and he's more precise, and it, it, it's really been excellent for him tonight. Yeah, I think Donaire himself was expecting more of those sweeping, looping punches so he can fire the, the straight right hand down the middle, but it's not there for him. This is a pretty good right hand by Donaire. It sends Darchenian back momentarily, but oh man, what a massive left hand by Darchenian followed by another one. And you know, we talk about occasional defensive lapses by Darchenian, but he's blocking a lot of those right hands by Donaire, which he just did, and slipping some, so. We don't want to turn Darchini into some kind of one-dimensional cartoon character that can only do certain things because he has more skills. It's just that he does it in an unorthodox fashion. Left hand there drove uh, Donaire back. Keeps shaking his head at Darchini as if to say, it's not hurting me. That one had to hurt. The straight left hand got through the defense. Donaire's been down a couple of times, as mentioned, Darchini and never, pro or amateur. Darchinian, uh, just a take charge guy in there. 